ribulsis weight loss, side effects, how to use and more. What is ribulsis? If you have diabetes, your doctor may suggest that you take ribulsis. It's a prescription drug that's used for type 2 diabetes in adults. Together with healthy eating and exercising, ribulsis can help manage your blood sugar levels. For more information about how ribulsis is used, make sure to watch this video until the end. Ribulsis comes as tablets. You'll take it by mouth once a day, at least 30 minutes before your first meal of the day. Ribulsis contains the active drug semaglutide. It's a glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1, agonist. This drug isn't available in a generic form. Instead, it only comes as the brand name drug Ribulsis. If you like to learn more about Ribulsis side effects, how it's taken, and more, keep watching. What are Ribulsis side effects? Like most drugs, Ribulsis may cause mild or serious side effects. The list below describes some of the more common side effects that Ribulsis may cause. These lists don't include all possible side effects. Your doctor or pharmacist can tell you more about the potential side effects of ribulsis. They can also suggest ways to help reduce side effects. Mild side effects. Here's a short list of some of the mild side effects that ribulsis can cause. To learn about other mild side effects, talk with your doctor or pharmacist or read ribulsis medication guide. Mild side effects of ribulsis can include nausea, belly pain, diarrhea, loss of appetite, vomiting, constipation, weight loss. You may have nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea when you first start taking ribulsis. But mild side effects of many drugs may go away within a few days or a couple of weeks. If they become bothersome, talk with your doctor or pharmacist. If you enjoy the information so far, please like this video and subscribe. Help this channel grow. Taking ribulsis. Ribulsis comes as tablets that you'll take by mouth. You'll take one tablet of ribulsis once a day. It needs to be taken at least 30 minutes before your first meal of the day. And be sure to take ribulsis with no more than 4 ounces of plain water. You can't take ribulsis with food, beverages, besides water, or other medications that are taken by mouth. If you don't have an empty stomach when you take this drug, the amount of ribulsis that your body absorbs will be lower than it should be. Your doctor will start you on the lowest dose of ribulsis for the first 30 days of treatment. After 30 days, your doctor will likely raise your dose to help you achieve your blood sugar goals. If after another 30 days, you haven't reached your goal, your doctor may raise your ribulsis dose again. Serious side effects from ribulsis can occur, but they aren't common. If you have serious side effects from ribulsis, call your doctor right away. However, if you think you're having a medical emergency, you should call 911 or your local emergency number. Serious side effects can include changes in eyesight, low blood sugar, kidney problems, boxed warning, thyroid cancer, inflammation in your pancreas, allergic reaction. In this video, we will just talk about weight loss side effect. You may lose weight while you're taking ribulsis, but the medication isn't used as a weight loss drug. In studies, people who weighed on average about 196 pounds, about 89 kilograms, and took the lowest dose of ribulsis, lost about 5 pounds, about 2 kilograms, and this was seen over a period of 6 months. But while some people in the study lost weight, others gained weight. Keep in mind that ribulsis should be used together with healthy eating and exercise habits to manage diabetes. And diet and exercise may help you lose weight. You may lose weight because of other diabetes medications that you're taking together with ribulsis. Additionally, ribulsis can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and loss of appetite. And some people may lose weight because of these side effects. Here's what might help. Weight loss may be a desired side effect of ribulsis. If you have nausea and vomiting with ribulsis, tell your doctor. And to help ease these side effects, try eating small meals several times a day rather than eating three large meals. If you have vomiting or diarrhea with ribulsis, you may become dehydrated. With dehydration, you have a low level of fluid in your body. So be sure to tell your doctor about any vomiting or diarrhea. To help replenish fluids in your body, drink plenty of fluids that contain electrolytes. For example, you could drink diluted fruit juice or sports drinks. Plain water won't replace electrolyte losses from vomiting and diarrhea.
Certain over-the-counter, anti-diarrheal medications may also help stop diarrhea. But always talk with your doctor before taking any medications with ribulsis. In addition, a bland diet that includes low-fiber foods may help relieve diarrhea. Foods that can help make your stools firmer include toast, bananas, oatmeal, white rice, applesauce, soup, or broth. Eating plenty of nutritious calories can help you prevent weight loss. If you're trying to regain weight that you've lost, avoid eating empty calories. Instead, try to choose foods that are high in calories and nutrients. And talk with your doctor about your weight loss concerns. For more weight loss video, please subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, you can watch this video here about how to lose weight fast.